Hello everyone, in today's video we'll have a look at the CV Assign menu. The CV Assign function is used to address the CV connections on the left side over here, we have six of them, to their specific destination. The assignments are made in CV groups. There are 12 possible groups and each group has six CV inputs or outputs that can be edited. Each bank can be assigned to any of the groups, this way it is possible to have the same configuration for all of the banks. When you first enter the CV Assign menu, you'll be able to select the physical connection from 1 to 6 that correspond to these 6 jacks. Next, you can decide whether this connection is an input or an output. And then you can also select the range of this input or output, which can be between 0 to 10 volt, 0 to 5 volt, or minus 5 to plus 5 volt. The configuration on the first page is common to the whole project. The next page contains group settings. Within this menu you can select a different group number from 1 to 12. You can select different physical connection from 1 to 6. And you can decide what this physical connection will control. Which includes all of the parameters along with some extra features. Next, you can select which slots will be affected by this physical connection and attenuation amount. Attenuation amount goes from 0 to minus 127. The third page contains the bank change assignments. It is possible to change the bank number via the control voltage. This option is not available in the control list because it affects all the banks and all of the groups. By default, the bank change is disabled, but we can activate it by pressing the encoder and assigning it to a specific CV input, for example, CV number 1. If you assign CV input 1 to control the bank change, it will override any other assignment that this CV input 1 had before. Just like before, you can attenuate the voltage that will control the banks from 0, which means no attenuation, to minus 127, which means the full attenuation. Next, you can select the type of CV control from full range to chromatic. Full range means that if we are using CV number 1, which is within 0 to 5 volts to control the bank change, the 0 volt will select bank number 1 and 5 volt will select bank number 12. If you are using the chromatic configuration, it means that each of the nodes that will be received on the specific input will be assigned to a bank. Since we have 12 nodes within an octave and we have 12 banks, they match really well. Apart from the range selection, we also have specific actions. For example, the first one is called trigger previous, which means that if we receive a trigger on CV input 1, we'll go to the previous bank. Trigger next means we'll go to the next bank. Trigger random means we'll completely randomly select a new bank. Trigger coin means that we'll either go to the next bank or to the previous one. And trigger drunk means we'll either go to the next bank, to the previous one, or stay on the same one. And on the fourth page, we're able to assign each bank to a specific group. We can select a bank by scrolling the encoder, for example, bank 3, and we can assign it to any of the 12 groups. That is all for this video. In the next episode, we'll check out the extra functions and configuration menus.